that long, but there you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotta change that bit. You gotta take all of it first. You gotta, you gotta get all of it. Yeah, no, 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 what you doing, Ron teacher? You cheating, man. Uh, I'm trying to rep my shot. Go take a trip down south, real down south, baby. Why'd you pay attention if attention never paid him? Try to the know you, that's the city, bright and raised me a little bit out of Miami. Let what it is, man? It's your boy Lil Car, and I'm not checking in with Boss Talk TV. Okay, what's good, bro? Working, man. Working? Anymore. You know how that goes. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you came and did the interview because. I ran into you at a party last nah, night. For real, for real. <laughs> and I'm like, let's do the interview. But you was it, it didn't feel like you was fucking with me. I thought you wasn't gonna come. Nah, well, I was gonna come, but I mean, you feel me? Nah, it was a bad time. You feel me? But you, you was drunk? Nah, I wasn't even drunk. I was I was chilling for real. What was just y'all boy? In some circumstances, y'all boy know what y'all did. <laughs> man. A certain individual came up to me a certain type of way. I wasn't fucking with it. You feel me? But we here now. That's right, okay. mother. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Y'all caught me right when I go back to Tally too, boy. And them boy lucky, ain't it, boy? <laughs> okay, so you mentioned Tally. What you live in Tally right now? Yeah, mm, I'm I reside out there. Um, I go to Fan U. Okay. How school? You like it? Yeah, man. School great. Um, I go to Fan U on a full ride SBI major. So I do a uh, business, school of business out there. Damn, that's dope. Yeah. Do you. Okay, because I know you're doing music right now and you're going viral on TikTok. Mm hmm. Do you ever feel like damn fuck the school shit? Nah, not really because in this world you kind of need a degree to like, you know what I'm saying, get to where you want to go. So, and I ain't never really felt like fuck school because like it came so easy to me, you know what I'm saying? Which made it easy for me to maneuver how I want to maneuver. So, not really. I just, I knew I was going to do it. I just want to make sure I get it done so I got something to fall back on when I'm done with music. So, okay. that's what I'm in school. And you live on campus? No, nah, I only on campus. Okay. Um, but right now, are they still doing classes online or you actually go to campus for school? You could do both, but I, I'm on campus. I go to campus. Okay. I got one online class, though. Okay. Like, how is it walking through the schoolyard and, yeah. and, and they know, like, you little Kari? I mean, like, honestly, like, me personally, I, I, I didn't really adjust to, like, what I'm becoming yet too, too good, like all the way. So like, it's still new to me, you know what I'm saying? But like, when people come and be like, hey, you that boy that rap, or like, you that boy like Down South Baby, or you that nigga from Tech South, be like, yo. And then they be like, ask them. some people ask for pictures, like, shit crazy, like, for do real, for you, real. Do you get annoyed with that, or? No, nah, I ain't gonna lie, like, probably cause I'm new to it, I ain't really tripping on it yet. Like, it don't happen every day, so you feel me? I'm yeah. straight, but it happen like every few days, you feel me, so. I'm cool with it though. It's cool for now. I know I'm probably gonna get mad as hell. <laughs> and that bit happen every two minutes. But. Right, right, right. Okay, that's dope. But I'm gonna try you feel me. I love my supporters, my fans, so I try to you feel me do what I can. Okay, what made you get into music? I've been doing music since I was jet for real. Like since I could remember. I just stopped pursuing it when I got back right on it, you know what I'm saying? So I was like in the studio with my homeboy about a year ago. Shout out to nigga M O B. And then he asked me to hop on his track. I ain't had no music outside shit, so I was like, I don't really want to rock, cause like, you know what I mean? I was on some other shit, you know what I mean? But then he was like, man, just hop on their features, so I did it. And then everybody was messing with it, and it stood it like a bit hard, and I just freestyled the whole verse. And after that, I just, I dropped the freestyle. People spoke, said they were messing with it, so I just kept it going. Okay, that's dope. So it's only been a year so far since you've been rapping? Yeah, it's only been like a year. Like, it just turned a year, I believe, in like May. What? Or, no, was it? Or Feb- I think it was February. It was February. Because I dropped the same niggas that snippet in February. Damn. So it's been like a year and like six months. Like, a year, about a year and a half. Damn, a month. year. Like, a year and a half. Yeah, right. You had a lot of rappers. Like, that have been rapping for years. I know, man. Like, that's, that's crazy. Do you feel like it's moving too fast for you? Mm-mm. I feel like, I feel like I wanted to move faster, but like, cause I'm adjusting as I go, but I feel like it's moving at the pace like it's supposed to be moving. I think everything just falling in place and happening for a reason. So I think, I think it's, you know what I'm saying, a perfect time. And I just got a few things I got to get in order on my end, you know what I'm saying, to adjust all the way fully to the change, but no, nah, I don't want to slow down. Okay. And you, you mentioned like you was on other shit, like where you like caught up in the streets doing bullshit. 
Before music. I wouldn't really say like I was in the streets, cause like that I was. I'm mean, gonna lie, I'm the type of nigga, but I'm gonna let y'all boys know if you can get it legally, do that shit. It ain't worth all that other shit that come on. Now. And that's just street shit, and that's just, you know what I'm saying, in general. Like, it's a whole bunch of bullshit that come with that. But I wouldn't say I was in the streets. I just did what I had to do, you feel me, to get to what, get what I wanted and get what I needed. So, But my mama always made sure I was street. It's just me, like, personally, I always wanted different shit than what was provided for me. Like, she gonna give you what I need, but it's sometimes, like, us as humans and people, you know what I'm saying, we got wants. So, like, I had certain wants that I knew she wasn't gonna give me. She was gonna give me what I needed. So I just kept it going and did what I had to do, you feel me, to get the shit that I wanted. But she always made sure I was good, though. Yeah, that's, that's dope. That's dope. You bet you and mom, I saw, like, a TikTok where you, like, played your song in front of her. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do she support your music? A hundred percent. She the, um, she a big part of, like, why, why I'm, you know what I'm saying, why I'm at the day, honestly. Like, I don't think I would have been here if it wasn't for her, so I really appreciate my OG. You know, that's good. It's good that you say that. A lot of people don't have like a support system from their parents when it comes to music. Cause you know I know, like, man. That's a, like I feel like even if she, I feel like if she didn't support it, I would have still had motion. You feel me? I would have been in, but I wouldn't have had as much. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's certain times like where I want to give up. You feel me? But like she be like, you already got this far. You might as well just keep going. So that's what I did. Okay. And you know. When you when you record songs, do you like pass it through her like what you think about this, or do you have homeboys that help you like you can release this for this one? Right. I mean, with my music, honestly, like honestly, with my music, I don't really send it to nobody like that. Really? Like, I don't really give my music out too much. And the reason being, cause I heard somebody. Like back in like some shit happened, like somebody was like playing my music for some other people, you feel me? <laughs> like, like niggas was trying to like play my music, I'm like, what fuck is y'all boys doing? But I don't know, niggas be trying to leak your shit. Yeah. And it's not even on no like on no other shit, it's just like I mean I asked my mama for my opinion, obviously. Cause I'm saying I try to reach dem- different demographics. So like I have her listen to it. Somebody younger, somebody my age, you feel me? My homeboy, obviously, I just, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I asked her her opinion. Okay, okay. Like, how much songs does Lil Kari have in a vault? Like, how much songs you got recorded? What kind of songs and how many? How many? I don't even know, man. Over 100? Yeah, 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 over 100. Yeah, over 100. Probably yeah. like, she honestly will. I probably got over like seven tapes in the vault. I got released probably like seven projects. Okay. Do you write or you freestyle? I used to write. Well, why you stop? It's all there. It was all right. Like, I only wrote because like I would get like I would use beats off YouTube. But like now like it's a different process. Like I usually get my beats while I'm in the studio I with the producer and shit, so and you got time for it. Okay. Do you ever have a writer's block? I can't have writer's block on right. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so you so so like it's never been a time where like you can't even. No, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's times where like I can't think, but that's because like other stuff that's going on. But yeah, there be times where I can't like. It, it, I, I wouldn't say I can't finish a song. It's even gonna come out how I want it to come out, or it take longer than I usually take. Okay. Well, how you like your session? Do you like it deep or just a little bit nah, of people? I don't need all them niggas with me. I had like a select few, you know what I'm saying? But them boys know like once I get in that studio, like, so I don't need them. You know what I'm saying? And I like my studio sessions because like, I want to be able to hear myself. And like if I could hear niggas through like the speakers and shit, all right, all right, that shit just got on fucking with me and a few other people. And the people that I bring, like, they significant to like helping me. Like if you not if you not helping me or adding to my record, what the fuck is you here? You know what I'm <laughs> niggas not real. Niggas be in the studio trying to kick it and shit. Like fuck, like nigga, we could kick it at the crib. Like take your ass home. You know what I'm saying? So like, for example, I might have this girl with me because you feel me. She giving that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I don't know what I got going on. You feel me? Cause like, okay, now my mind's straight. Let me get back. Might have my dog with me because you feel me. He got. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So that dog. You know what I'm saying? What that gonna do? And he also. 
is, you know what I'm saying, helping me create shit because a lot of shit that I go through, he went through with me. So it's like, I got memories, he got memories, so he's adding to what I got going on. But if you just sitting there eating chips and shit and talking to the damn producer, like, get the fuck out my damn, uh, Yeah, okay. I ain't with that. That's real. And do you, now that you moved to Tally, do you record in Tally too, or? Nah? Yeah, yeah, I got a uh, studio in Tally. Okay, what, is it a home studio? No, nah, no. Nah. I want to learn how to record myself, though. Yeah. I do. But that gave me more cost effective for me. Right. Um, Add something to my arsenal. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, what do you do outside of like music? Um, I got a few businesses and stuff I'm investing in. Um, like I said, I do SBI, but I'm going there for like to help with my digital marketing company that I see myself in the future. I got a um, label, as a 36 Productions. Um, I'm an investor in a skincare factory. We just recently opened. Matter of fact, the grand opening was today um, in Lauder Hill. Thirty one sixty one everywhere west. If y'all wanna go ahead and check that out, you know, gotta tag them. So how, how was the grand opening? It was good, man. We um we sold out of all the products, honestly. It was That's like dope three products well. left. So it was definitely a dope turnout. Shout out to everybody that came out and you were fan rock with us. Did you know it was gonna be that like successful? Honestly, like I was iffy about it. Cause you know, like I know like I know they gonna listen to my music and stuff, cause like I built a fan base that were like when it came to other stuff, I wasn't really sure, like, this turnout, you know what I'm saying, the support, but people definitely came and showed out and showed their support in memory. So I definitely appreciate everybody for putting their trust. Right. You know what I'm saying? And us, you know what I'm saying? To get you did right you, with the face. Go did ahead. you cry? Huh? Did you cry? Yeah, no. And a lot. <laughs> Nigga, I ain't cry, but uh, I might shed a tear one day. You me? Might go ahead, you know what I'm saying, drop one for you. Okay. Cause that was, you know what I'm saying? That was a big moment in my career, too, because. It's like, you know what I'm saying, they do like, you know what I'm saying, rejuvenation for the phase. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like they do um like you know, for example, like if your eyebrow is missing or something like that, they can do like tattooing for the eyebrow, stuff like that. So it's definitely a good company. They do men and it's facials? all natural. It's all natural products. Men they do men facials there? Yeah, facials, um okay. like I said, skin rejuvenation, they got daily cleansers, um, all different type of stuff. They got a uh, bumper stopper, um, beer oil. <laughs> stopper. I'm telling you, woo, y'all boy, okay. well, y'all it boy get right. I'm well, I'm telling up. you, woo. And I'm telling my dog, man, there ain't nothing wrong with keeping yourself clean, fam. I'm telling you, you yeah. gonna like that, though. Hell yeah. Um, where you from? Pompano, the O six O. Okay. That part of. It's a lot of upcoming rappers out of Pompano. Yeah, yeah. a lot of them boy. Mm -hmm. Them boy definitely you feel me. It's a lot of motion in Broward. Yeah. Definitely a lot of people coming out of Broward. Okay. We stepping. Okay. Do you feel like Kodak made it easier for y'all? Like Definitely. I feel like Kodak definitely opened up the floodgates to a lot of big rappers, honestly, not today. Like even myself, like, you know what I'm saying? I used to listen to Kodak back in the day. I'm talking about Fabry Project, baby, honey bun, talking about my life, baby. I was you know what I'm saying? I was in the car with that big boy. <laughs> Telling you, that boy definitely opened up, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to Yap. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. How you feel about the Kodak and Shot Boy situation? How I feel about it? Yeah. I don't get into that. Okay. That ain't really my place. You feel me? That ain't my business, but I fuck with Jack and I fuck with Yak. That's real. So you feel me? I keep myself mutual and all of that, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, <laughs> hope them boys definitely figure that shit out. Right. Mm -hmm. When you, what you, you gotta, listen? We stronger together, fam. That's all I'm gonna see. Hell yeah. What you listen to like when you driving? What you was listening to on your way here? What was I listening to? Me, ain't it? Me, bitch. <laughs> but ain't gonna lie, nah, I was listening to, um, I think it was Hot Boy, All the Smoke. All the Smoke. I fought with that song. I was listening to, um, Raw Wave. Okay. Who your favorite artist right now? Favorite artist right now? Yeah. Shit. Look hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got any like features in the votes? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Share one with Boss Talk. Damn, that's the only feature that's like right next though. <laughs> That'd be like coming out like real. Now let me say yeah, the down south baby is coming out. The bed for the artist on it. So let me say y'all. Uh, the video, sh the video shot already. Nah, we ain't do the video yet. We still planning that out, but the audio gonna be released probably like within the next month or two. 
Okay. So when, you, when y'all releasing it? We releasing this probably like in like two, three weeks. Okay, then yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be out like a month from after that probably. Okay. Like November. I'm thinking November. November. Cause I got the verse back for me. I've been chopping up with that boy from before this song. So I got the verse a few days ago, so we just planning on uh, trying to plan like a little marketing thing around. So Okay. You gotta make sure you invite boss talk to the uh video shoot. Oh yeah, most dub. Ain't gonna lie, you coming to Tiny. That bit might be in Tiny. I come to Alright, then time. we lost. Right. <laughs> boy, come on. Okay, like what like out what did you blow up on first? TikTok or you already had a fan base on Instagram? Um, how I came up on Instagram was different from like I feel like every other photo artist. Like how I came up was through social media. Like that's how people around here find out about me. You know what I'm saying? Like at first I ain't have much you feel me followers, then I um I started doing Instagram lives to showcase my talent. So for example, I'm about to give y'all some game. Like I said, I teach a marketing class, so I'm gonna teach y'all some real quick. Take advantage of every situation that's thrown at you, no matter if it's good or bad. Like for example, I got a homeboy that rap. He uh, signed to a label. He he um, still like works as an Uber driver or whatever. So he does Uber Eats and stuff like that. Or like he does like take people to you feel me a destination. So what I was telling him was take advantage of that you feel me because he knows how to edit and you know he go with a computer. So basically what I was telling him was go ahead rap to your customers while you're driving. Get that reaction, and you can, you feel me, blow up potentially on TikTok. Because TikTok, anybody has a chance of blowing up, no matter if you got a little following or a big one. Because the, the way the app works is everyone has a fair chance of getting on the FYP page to blow up. That's why the app is so good for everybody. Which is like, it's not like Instagram to where you have to have a follower fan base to, you know what I'm saying, get motion. That's why I say start on TikTok and then expand. So what I was telling him was get your camera, set it up, because that's legal because you feel me, you're a driver in your car. Go ahead and set it up, talk to the people, rap to them, get their reaction, edit it up and put it on TikTok. You could be you could blow up as the fucking damn Uber, the Uber rapper, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's still leading to streams and revenue on your platform, you know what I'm saying? So take advantage of every situation that you're in, you feel me, and make it into a positive. That's what I do, which is why, you feel me, I continue, you feel me, I have growth. So what I did was, I came up on Instagram, so for example, let's say Boss Talk, we gonna, you gonna use y'all, let's say Boss Talk TV have a live, right? Y'all randomly just doing shit, y'all boys in there with strippers or some shit, you know what I'm saying? I go on live, people send me your Instagram live, you say you got like a hundred people in there. People send me your Instagram live, I be like, alright, bet we going here. I go live, I got 15 people in there. I tell everybody go to your live and comment my name. When they comment my name, all 15 of them, you all you see is us flooded in there, add Lakari, add Lakari. You So obviously you gonna be like, who the fuck is this jet? Why they keep telling me to add him? So you gonna add me, I'ma rap, I'ma snap, you know what I'm saying? I'ma get mine off. See if you gonna fuck with it or you don't. But even if you don't fuck with it, somebody in there will. It's a hundred different ears. So man, what that does is I take so let's say I take twenty followers from your hundred. So now I got twenty more followers on my fan base that I just got from rapping on your live. So that's how I came up. Um, you know what I'm saying? When I started doing that, when I started spending the TikTok, when I blew up with doing like funny, you know what I'm saying, different shit. When I seen what was working and wasn't working, then my the video that blew up got like thirteen million views, I think, and it was everywhere. I'm like, okay, they like this. So, man, I transitioned to TikTok, started doing different content, and I blew up on there. And, man, after that, you know what I'm saying, Down South Baby started blowing up. You know what I'm saying? I just got almost like 400,000 on YouTube right now. I just hit a million on SoundCloud. Shout out to all the supporters of the fans. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Who was like, what What live did you join that you gained the most followers from? I ain't gonna lie, it was so many. Oh, like, I can't even. All right, I, I was on live with YB Mama. I was on live with a lot of people. I, I, I'm trying to remember. I went to a live that had, okay, I remember. The biggest live I've ever did, shout out to Bronny. Bronny James was on live with like three other people. And he added me, and there was like 20,000 people in that live. And I had a rap for him. Damn. That was the biggest love. You don't be nervous like rapping to him online? No, nah, because I was so used to it because I used to rap for everybody else already on live. So it wasn't nothing different. Of course, you, oh, I rap for Cowboy. Um, Jack Boy was in that live when I rap for Cowboy. I rap for, I rap for a lot of people. Yeah, I, that's dope. Yeah, I really did. What's, what's next for uh, Lakari? 
As in what particular, every particular? Music. Um, music, like I said, I got that uh, remix of Downside Baby coming out real soon. I'm dropping a single a month. I'm trying to stick to that with a video. I'm about to drop a song. By the time you drop this, it's, it's the song going to be out. The date is like the 26th. It's called Hood Nigga Blues by Lil Kari. I'm dropping that with a music video. With my nigga Suave Film. Best out there. I'm film director in Broward. I'm doing it. Uh, yeah. Okay. And any more businesses you're going to open? Mm. We trying to expand our locations in the West Palm Beach. I'm um, trying to open up over there. Um, we got the one, like I said, a lot of hell on Emerary. Mm -hmm. um, I've been into like cryptocurrency and doing stuff like that. Um, I got different businesses that I'm thinking about doing, but I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying, put all my eggs in one basket and just like, I'm not trying to do too much to where I can't understand, or, like I can't maintain. Cause before I get into an industry, I want to understand it. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. You mentioned crypto. What crypto is you in right now? I like Dogecoin, um, Ethereum. Um, I'm real big in the Ethereum and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I have no XRP. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You gotta get some XRP. I was thinking, I ain't gonna lie. I got some. I'm in the um, I'm into different stuff. Like I got um, it's a platform that I'm working with. Um, it's like a digital marketing company. They do like um, a bunch of cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So they teaching me a lot more about it. Cause like I did my own research. Of course, I'm not just gonna listen to what anybody tell me. So I do my own research on the ones that I think is the best to invest in. But um, everything going digital. So everybody's gotta hop on the wave. Everything going digital. Like within ten years, they ain't gonna have no, they ain't gonna have no paper money. So you you really you really think so? I, I ain't gonna lie. I think so. But let me not say ten years. Cause that's a lot of money. Probably like yeah. twenty thirty. I really feel like. Everything gonna go digital. Like everything, like they don't even got people no more. Like, <laughs> job, it, like, real, these robots taking over jobs, my fam. You're like, right, you're right. Feel me? Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Like, I don't know if you remember back when we was younger, when you driving up the highway, you used to have to stop and pay toll. I'm now, telling you, you don't even do that no more. <laughs> they taking pictures of your license plate and all different times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they taking away jobs, bro. I'm telling you. But, like, the thing about it is, too, is creating jobs because they need people to build these things. You feel me? So. It's good and bad, pros and cons. So. so you have any upcoming events coming up or? Yeah. Um I got a show October 29th in FAMU. Um it's a venue I'm doing on the 29th of October. Um you can go to my social media if you that. And I got a show, a bit show, classic kickoff with Young and Ace, November 18th at Club Experience in Orlando. Experience. Y'all out there going to the classic November 18th, come rock out with me and Ace. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a movie. You feel me? So, so these two gonna be your biggest shows, right? Um, the Ace one, yeah, the venue hold like four thousand, so that's gonna be my biggest. That's gonna be my biggest audience, my biggest show. You been, don't lie, you been practicing in the mirror yet, like? Man, I ain't gonna lie, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing everywhere, boy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to man, I'm wreck this man. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. My first time headlining, like for real, for real. So. Okay, that's dope. My yeah. advice to you, like. Cause I go to a lot of concerts and shit, and, shit, mm -hmm. and rappers invite me to shows. Mm -hmm. I think I what I like personally, I like when the artists talk to the crowd. Like I don't like when it's just like song after song. Like talk to us, like be like, oh, da, da. of course, yeah. like get them engaged. Yeah, like, right. you gotta talk to them. <coughs> right. So you should probably put that in your performance. That's what I be trying to do, like letting the missions to get yeah. them understand. Yeah. Cause like down south, baby, a lot of people know that song, so I'm gonna do a like an mission between them. Yeah, like and just get people to rock out. Hell yeah. Yo, man, it's your boy Love Car. Y'all go follow me on Instagram at L I L K A R I underscore 36. TikTok, same thing. Twitter, same thing. Y'all can check out my music on YouTube and all screaming platforms by, at Love Car. What's up? Appreciate Boss Talk for having me. Boss Talk TV, we checking out. So.